So if you haven't already, meet my mum. This is my mum, Andrea. And before I get into this video, I wanted to tell you a little bit about mine and my mum's relationship and one of the reasons why I decided to do this whole video and this surprise for my mum. This surprise was not for the purposes of creating a YouTube video. However, I wanted to make a video out of it because this is honestly one of the most special rewarding things that I've ever been able to do for somebody. My mum and dad split up when I was around eight years old and ever since that point, my mom has never really been financially stable money has always been a struggle for her but nonetheless me and my younger brother brad have always been absolutely spoiled and my mom went above and beyond for both of us and i always knew that if i was in a financially able situation i wanted to do something really special for my mom and this year came around and i was in a really comfortable financial situation and one thing that i know my mom would have absolutely loved was a new kitchen because our previous kitchen was basically a kitchen my mum had made herself out of cupboards that she would find in B&Q sales and skips that she would just buy from charity shops. So our kitchen was kind of just a man-made kitchen by my mum. It wasn't a real kitchen even though it was practical it didn't match or anything so i come up with the idea when my mom went on holiday for 10 days to create a new kitchen now i'm not gonna lie there was a lot more hard work that went into this than demi initially expected but come along on the journey of me transforming my mom's old kitchen into a brand new one She's in a little bed. So this is the current situation. Everything's in boxes. How are you feeling, Nana? <laughs> are you feeling excited about excited. the kitchen? Very excited. I think it'll be more exciting when it all like starts to coming together. And after. I yeah. So my mum actually left to go to the airport this morning and we literally got straight up and cracked with it because we're on a time, a 10 day limit. My granddad and that are currently just taking the electrics because Sean is doing all the electrics for it because he's an electrician. Um, and me and him are gonna go and get all the pieces that we need. But yeah, I'm, I'm getting kind of excited about it now. I'm kind of still just a bit like, I hope it's all gonna work out and be good. And I think I really struggle to visualize something when it's not there, if that makes sense. I'm not very good with that, but never so it's still day one and we are in B&Q. Sean is getting the stuff that he needs for the electric part of it. I've got dry skin all over my face, great. So currently we have some plug sockets, doubles and singles. We have some wire, this big cabin thing and then the inside the plugs and Sean's getting the wire that he needs and then we need to get, and then Sean's getting the wire that he needs and then we need to get the spotlight lights. Um, so yeah, we're currently getting all of this and then we'll be heading back home. Nana is still at home. She's like cleaning the floor bits for us because the flooring is getting put down over the weekend. Tomorrow we are painting. So yeah, it's a busy 10 days. We have like a 10 day schedule and it's busy and I'm just like blah, blah, blah.
living different rules. I'm currently on standing. Nana is on painting. Granddad is on tile removal. Nana and Brad is I'm not quite sure what Brad's role is. It's peeling the wall. <laughs> um, really using this scraping. And we have more or less everybody coming on Tuesday. So we have like plumber, Sean is the electrician, and he's gonna be here Sunday and Monday. Back goes over the nose. Back goes over the back. Just squash your nose. Squash your nose in. Granted, if I did the hospital with one of them on, everybody shifted their seats. <laughs> right. Why did you go to hospital? Because at the time they had sickness and diarrhea. <laughs> what do I do with this bit? Read through it. Ow. It's supposed to go good enough. I only use it once. You're only going to be up there a few minutes. Just for your lungs. Okay, so this is the end of day two. As you can see, we have painted that wall from red to white and all of the walls have been sanded. So there was like cracks and stuff which we plastered over and sanded. Um, so yeah, that has been painted. Obviously painting takes longer than you think. So that's kind of been the main job of today. Then tomorrow we are obviously going to be finishing the rest of the painting like down by the windowsill and stuff. We are going to be getting a new windowsill which we are getting tomorrow and the flooring is coming tomorrow. No, the flooring's already here, sorry, I'm lying. We got the flooring today. So this is the end of day two. We've called it a night for day two. Day three is tomorrow in this process. Sean is going to be here on Sunday and Monday because he is going to be doing all the electric work. So he's going to be putting us in some sockets, fixing the lights because honestly, four years we've just had this so my mom intended to get spotlights but we got a guy in to do them basically years and years and years ago this person let her down and for years we've literally had holes in the ceiling with wire hanging out and then just one bulb so sean is going to fix all that and we're going to have some spotlights and then we're going to have double plugs because we've never really had many sockets in here so yeah sean is going to be doing all the electricity work over sunday and monday and then tuesday the full kitchen is getting delivered and that's going to be the day when i think we start inputting some of the kitchen depending on what depending on uh, what time it arrives tomorrow the new cougar is coming which is exciting this is the end of day two and the process of day two Okay guys, so I haven't actually updated you in a few days. Basically over the weekend, not much was happening. A little bit of painting happened um, in the room. We did some plastering and stuff, but no real work was kind of getting done in the kitchen, so I felt like I couldn't really vlog. Anyway, Sunday and today, Sean has been doing his main role. Have not you? Come on, don't be shy. Um, so Sean has actually been doing his electrics in the kitchen. Our electrics are absolutely appalling in the kitchen. Oh, by the way, quickly, hi, you have brown hair now. You might have already seen the transformation vlog, but this vlog's gonna skip from me having blonde to brown hair because obviously this what happened in the week. Transformation kitchen, transformation hair. Um, but yeah, so basically we have spotlights. This is such a huge thing because we literally had wires hanging out of them holes as long as you've knew were, which is seven years. I would say like 20 odd years, you know. <laughs> literally, I think we have. And we had one light bulb coming out of this spotlight with a with a bulb on it and now we have actual kitchen spotlights i think they're lush so we did get these so we have six of them so we have two yeah two yeah two yeah two and like go back so we have six and um, we did actually change the light from warm white to blue white cool white because i wanted them to be like white i don't like the yellowy twinges and then sean has added us in some um sockets that's what they're called so we have some sockets obviously the cover is to go on the front of them but we're not going to put them on till the end because they'll get ruined but we have two here which we never had sockets we literally had um <laughs> what did we have <laughs> we had a hanging socket we had a socket that was out of the wall hanging on the floor with a bit of wire that we plugged extensions into from your point of view it was probably really dangerous was it um but now we have actual sockets in the wall andrea is gonna love this um so we have one there 
one there. These are doubles. Um, they will have fronts on them soon. We'll have one here, which is going to be for the cougar, because the cougar is actually going to be on the back wall now, rather than the side. And this is another socket that we have here. It needs slightly amended, because it's slightly off, but Sean's going to amend that tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so we have a double socket here, two doubles here, a single down here. We have work in electric. I love the spotlights. So yeah, this is kind of where we're at. The sink has now been removed along with the cougar and tomorrow's the day. So basically it's Tuesday tomorrow and all of the kitchen should be arriving tomorrow. The plumber's coming tomorrow. I think the joiner's also coming tomorrow and most of it should arrive tomorrow. I'm hoping that it arrives early so we can start putting it in but anyway that's it we've also removed the windowsill because we have a new one but again it's not going on till the end just in case we need to do bits and bobs but yeah i'm already seeing real good progress i'm really excited sean has done his main stuff how did you find it yeah it was good yeah did you find it was like what you expected or did things go wrong or was it like okay it was pretty much okay. We just needed to nip to the shop a few times and get extra stuff that we didn't pick up. So this actually was open with wires. Um, you're going to put a front on it just to kind of... Will it have a switch on it or will it just be a silver just thing? Yeah. Just a silver thing, just so obviously... Just because, yeah. And then that's gone. Doesn't, doesn't matter. I'm not there anymore. And then we also have a brand new light switch here. Um, this is the ones that I chose to go in. It looks a bit fingerprinty, so I'm going to have to wipe it down. But yeah, so this is a working kitchen light. Ta-da! Sean are just going to go on a little drive now. So Tuesday is tomorrow and we will be on day seven. Hi guys, so it is 4.30 on the Tuesday and I'm not going to lie, I wanted to keep this video mainly positive because this is such a positive video and I hope that it has a really positive outcome. Obviously, I feel when you're doing a video like this, it's important not to hide the shit that can go wrong as well and obviously doing something like this on such a tight deadline, things are going to go wrong because, you know, life's never straightforward, especially not for me, it's not. So basically it's Tuesday and today we had kind of intended that the units and kitchen would arrive at a decent time. I didn't expect them to arrive early but I at least thought they would have been here at lunchtime and that we would have got a bit of work done in the kitchen and the joiner would have got a bit of work done but that's not been the case at all. Basically it's 4.30 and the kitchen still hasn't arrived. I've been on the phone to TCAS which is the company we bought the kitchen from and they assured me that it's out for delivery but it's still not arrived. The joiners had to go home meaning no work's actually going to get done today but the joiner did say that he could be here from 8 o'clock tomorrow which I was really grateful for because you know like he's been here all day and we've got nothing done um we've literally today's just been an absolute waste i'm upset about it because i know that we're on a very tight deadline and i'm just worried that the kitchen's gonna go and more things are gonna go wrong and it's gonna set us back more my mom comes home on saturday so i don't know i just thought that today we would have got some stuff done but we haven't so that's the update for Tuesday. Day six, I think I last updated you when the kitchen hadn't arrived. The kitchen arrived at six o'clock, but you know, nothing in life is straightforward. It arrived six doors down and we're missing one of the drawer units, which I'm not happy about. So tomorrow at nine o'clock, I'm gonna have to ring TCAS, which is the place we bought the kitchen from and ask where the fuck my cabinet doors are. And another thing is we ordered two L-shaped units. They didn't actually fit through the living room door. So Sean's over having to dismantle it now to get them through to the living room door. We had we had the plumber around a day and the electrician, uh, not the electrician, the plumber and the joiner around a day and basically uh, couldn't do anything because these didn't arrive till six o'clock. But this is the current situation. We have the full kitchen here apart from all minus six doors and a drawer. Uh, the kitchen is like this. We have some units in here as well. The joiner is coming at eight o'clock in the morning. And yeah, hopefully tomorrow night we will have a better update and it will be more looking like a kitchen because I honestly thought at the end of Tuesday a lot more would have been done and we would have had a lot more in place, but it's just not worked out. Me and Sean are going to get the l shape units through. I think we're going to try and take them into the kitchen. Uh, it's been a stressful day in terms of the kitchen because 
nothing arrived and it was kind of out of our control we couldn't do anything about it because the delivery just didn't come and i'm stressed about what they're going to say tomorrow when i ring them about the missing doors because my mom comes back on saturday and i can't have a kitchen with no doors and one drawer missing like it isn't going to look good so i'm going to ring them first thing tomorrow and find out where the hell the cabinet doors are and why they didn't arrive but yeah kitchen update day six Okay, so as you will be able to see, the footage skips from me doing daily updates to me not updating at all and the kitchen practically being in. Honestly, we had so many problems and issues with the kitchen that I kind of just... Filming wasn't my main priority at this point. My main priority was trying to get the kitchen installed because at this point I didn't actually think it was going to be done in time for my mum coming back and I was really freaking out. Luckily we got it done. So the, foot like, the footage that you're seeing now is kind of the last minute finishing touches of the kitchen. Yeah, it is what it is. I was more concerned about getting the kitchen done than actually blogging for this video. But my mum's reaction literally makes this video a whole, a whole piece, so stay tuned for that. It's half one on, what day is it? Well, it's half one on Friday night and basically it's done. I haven't vlogged as much as I want to because honestly, like it was such a stressful process. Like things went wrong and I kind of felt like last night I didn't sleep at all and I honestly felt like we weren't gonna get done in time. Like the kitchen wasn't gonna be done and. I just like kept thinking of my mum walking back to a half ripped out kitchen and I was getting so so stressed but <sighs> it's done and she comes back tomorrow at around half two in the afternoon if there's no delays but there has actually been loads of delays in Palmer airport because of storms so there may be delays but yeah she comes back at around half two um I'm really excited I'm just exhausted but I'm so excited for her to see the kitchen I, I kind of feel now she's gonna love it but like last night I was thinking I've made the worst decision she's not gonna like it she's gonna hate it but oh, I'm really I'm really happy and I'm excited and I'm just so thankful to everybody who helped who chipped in who made this possible because I know my mum is gonna love it but yeah um I'm gonna go to sleep now and Tomorrow's the big day. The next day. Okay guys, so 10 days, literally 600 meltdowns, four sleepless nights, but we're finally, it's finally happening. Mam should be landing within the next half hour. She should be home within the next hour. And the kitchen is ready. So basically it's ready. I'm gonna have my cameras both set up to get a reaction. Um, I got her some chocolate, some Prosecco, there's a cake in there, but yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. I'm feeling a little nervous because I don't know what her reaction is going to be. We've sprayed the house, the full house is clean, so she's not coming back to a nice kitchen in a shitty house. Like, the house is clean, it looks great. I'm very excited. Okay, Nana's here. Nana's going to actually hide in my room. Just because I think if Nana's downstairs, Mam will automatically think that something's wrong. So I'm going to get Nana to hide in my room and then she can come down after, but I'll have Mam's reaction. Hopefully if technology doesn't let us down in coming in, I might even just set my phone up over there as well. But then I, need a, I might use Sean's phone to video with Dolly and stuff or something. I don't know, I'm going to sort it out.
Dolly knows. She knows it's the day that a man comes home, don't you? I know, not long, honey bun. Not long. Not long now. Not long now. It is quarter past two. She texted us about 10 minutes ago saying she had landed. So we're just kind of waiting now. Nana's estimating she'll get here at about quarter to three. I'm thinking just after half past. So not long now. Yeah, it's beautiful. Do you like it, Neil? Yeah. I said to her dad when she says she'd be going, 
the granddad, <laughs> no, granddad didn't want to come because he doesn't like emotional situations. <laughs> so he was like, I'm, I'm going to stay away. <laughs> You've got a real kitchen. <laughs> The, s the storage is unreal. We've got like the that top shelf empty. Cupboards on the wall. We've got this is empty. Um, we've just got loads of storage. I've just really popped the knock out in the plane. I walked straight into the cupboard yeah. and went bing. Yeah. You didn't suspect it all, did you? Yeah. I was saying, how the hell would you expect I'm gonna like rip the kitchen out? Yeah. Aye, the day you left, the morning you left, everyone was over. I was ripping it out. The, the ones we had in the year, we pulled them and they just oh. fell apart. Right? Oh, no, that's... <laughs> <laughs> we can't have that. Yeah, honestly, oh, like, yeah. I love it. I absolutely oh, love it. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that is a wrap for this video. This is the most special, heartwarming, most important video to me ever on my channel. And yeah, if you've made it to this point, because I know it's a very long video, then thank you very much. And if you're new to my channel, Thank you for watching this video. If you're an OG of my channel, thank you, thank you, thank you for making this possible. And thank you for allowing me to work with brands that I never thought I'd get to work with. If you're a brand who've ever sponsored one of my videos, thank you so much because not only are you changing my life and allowing me opportunities that I never thought I would get, I'm able to help my family in ways that I never thought I'd be able to. Um, and I just want to say a massive thank you to you, to any brands I've worked with, but also to every single person who made this video possible. I would like to say a massive thank you to my fiancé, Sean, for doing the electrics in the kitchen and just being an absolute support person for me through this stressful process and for you know help him with everything that he helped with i'd like to say thank you to cf joinery for their part in this video um their links will also be below i'd like to say thank you to my nana and granddad for everything they've done to john the plumber to hector the joiner who just to everybody who had an input short small or big my grandma for coming over and cleaning on the last few days my nana for helping out with the cleaning to my brother brad for just basically allowing me to shout at him over the last 10 days and also help him with any jobs that i ask him to just just to every single person um that helped and that made this possible but then also to you guys for making this possible financially as well and to the brands that i've worked with and just to every single person um, but yeah, hopefully I can do more videos like this in the future where I'm surprised and members of my family with special things. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and please share because it does help out a lot. But without further ado, I will see you very shortly for another video. Bye!